Okay, so here's our image. And of course, what most people do, and it's fine, is you put text over that, right? The text and the image go together. But wouldn't it be kind of cool if we could put the text behind the object, just behind? It looks something like that, right? And you could do it not just for light bulbs, but anything that is transparent. For example, a window, where it doesn't look like it's on top of the window, but that it's on the other side of the window, in this case too. Right? It gives that illusion that somehow it's outside. It's just a little bit different. Of course, everyone always puts text just on top, but what if the text was sort of somehow integrated or on the other side of a transparent object, as it would be you know, in real life, so it sort of simulates that, right? If you put text behind a plastic bottle, it might be something like that. I know that the animation is kind of hacky, but it's just to explain, just to show you how, what it could look like, right? Obsessed with water here, but you see it kind of feels like it might in real life, where you put text behind the object and it's a little bit uh, obscured, of course, right? So it could be anything, not just glass, bottle, but whatever. Anything that's transparent could be a window, for example, in this car where we see the text behind it, right? Or a bottle like this. By the way, if you know the answer to this question, please put the answer in the comments. Who can be the first to do that, right? So in this case, too, it's a glass bottle. The text looks like it's behind it, so like on, on another layer in space. Uh, this one, right, see, coming from the other side of the window. So it feels like somehow it's on the other side of the window. So we had talked before in an earlier video how you put text on the other side of an object. For example, text could come out of this on the other side of the mountain or something like this where text is in between the foreground and the middle ground of the runner and then the background. So how do you do that? And we talked about that, but basically use this tool. And Keynote, it's the remove background tool, but it'd be something different in PowerPoint and in Canva. And we just remove the background. And then we go back and you'll see that the lowest layer is that original image and then the text and then that the original image but with the background taken out and it gives that illusion that somehow the text is in the real space. Okay, so going back to our original image, we want to get this kind of effect. Okay, so how do we do that? So let's just put the text up here for a while to get it out of the way. Using the Remove Background tool, all we do is make sure the image is selected, and then under Format and Style, choose Image and Remove Background, right? That's what we're going to do. But before we do that, go ahead and copy it and paste it. So now it's on the top, right? And on the bottom one, just turn down the opacity so that it will become black underneath so that we can see just to make sure we make a, a proper selection. So one way to make a selection, of course, would be to use the shape tool and use this tool over here, the draw with the pen tool. We can just draw around it and then select that. However, in this case, what I'm recommending is this one. So go to style, image, remove background, and this is what you get. All right, so now we have the light bulb. And it's not perfect, but it's okay in this case because the text is gonna be up here, so it's not gonna matter. So now we go back to the lower layer and turn the opacity up. And remember, we have our text here, so we can bring our text down. And then we go to the image on top and just turn the opacity down. And now we have this kind of effect, right? Voila. So instead of using Remove Background, you could use, as I said, up here in the Pen tool. So let's see how that works. Actually, you don't have to go all the way around it. You can just get these touch points and then I'll show you how it kind of closes around it. And actually we don't need the bottom of this because it's just gonna be on the top is where we're gonna see the text anyway. So I actually don't even need to go through all this effort. Okay, something like that. And we complete it and then select all. So Command A and then hold the Control key down and then you'll get this pop-up Make Smooth Point and you can see that everything sort of snapped to that path that we made. Again, this part we don't really care about. But that looks pretty good. And so what you do then is we select that that we just did, that outline, and then hold the shift key down and select that image in the background. And you can see it represented over here that both are selected. And then go up to Format and under Image, Mask with Selection. And there we go. There's the same thing. So now we go down to our image on the bottom and you can see there it is, right? And if we put text, text down below, and then turn the opacity down on our light. And there we go. So that's another way to do it. And you can select not just light bulbs and things. It's just anything, right? You could make several selections in the same image if you wanted some of it to be transparent, for example, and other parts not to be. Okay, let's look at two more examples that are a little bit different. There's one little difference here. Can you see it? The text is actually coming from the glass, coming from within the glass. 
So this is just a, a move from right to left. But what we did is everything else is the same. So there's the beer, the you know, the glass on top. And then what we did is using this tool here, right, the pen tool, we cut out a section, right, so that it will hide. Otherwise, we would otherwise we would see the text, right. So if we do it this way, then we don't see the text until it comes out of the glass. That's the idea. Okay, in this case, so we have someone holding a jar with a goldfish in it, and the text is behind the jar and all the way behind the fish. But we had to do something different. We had to, again, use the pen tool up here to go around the fish. Otherwise, we would see the S would be over the fish, right? And which doesn't sell the illusion so much that the text is behind the bottle. So we just have the fish by itself. So it's just the basic jar up here with text in the middle, and then the jar again with the transparency, with the opacity turned down a little bit. And then we went around the fish so that we could put it on top, which makes it seem sort of like the word fish is behind the jar. Okay, so admittedly, this is a little thing, but just think about how you could use transparent objects and put text behind it, which is different. Most people wouldn't do that, and it creates a little depth. 